with an opening at the top of his mouth. A cleft palate, a hole in need of mending. His parents sought healing, took my father as child to the doctors, but at the hospital he caught polio, which mangled his legs, and the hole was still there. People fear mangled legs and strange walks. Perhaps the disease they talk are punished for past crimes, and people think that twisted bones <coughs> are twisted minds. Unable to catch the rhythm of my father's legs swim, people pity him, holding their faces grim. But intelligent children, treated like imbeciles, become angry and fistful, volatile, fury volatile as a pistol. <coughs> Metal calipers meant to fix a cripple bound, my young father, ankle to knee. His dream, the coming to walk free. Until then, when threatened, he used them as weapons. He cracked and bloodied skulls, sending others to hospitals. He threw bricks through windows. <laughs> Teachers tied him to chairs, and his anger grew. Over another year, trapped within infirmaries. His grandmother was his only school. She told him stories of tribal soldiers fighting for the British in World War II, coming back with cut limbs, and his anger grew. Every day she read him the newspaper. He had nothing to do but think. Then came singular only acts, more gatherings tear gassed, more lies, torture, propaganda, and his anger grew, his dream becoming for his people to walk free. He gave speeches, a wall should be built between Donald and Sigla. He placed rage and brilliance in the troubles. At 14, he was a part of a movement, a part of revolution, a part of standing tall against all those who You have to love your people. 
people you have to love, your people to protect, your people you have to love, your people to defend, your people who will love my people. The little girl 
her umma and monkey hiding, got in a boat leaving her next morning. Yeah, Rukmini. 
I'm writing to remind you to tell Slomia to grow out her hair properly. The wedding is only three months away. She mustn't disappoint the family. See, Dad, how people write me. Please, please do not come to the wedding with that hair. <clears throat> Dear Auntie, please address any problems you have with my clothing, looks, behavior, etc., with me directly. Not my Amma. Honestly, my Amma doesn't like my hair either, but I am 29 years old. <laughs> and she's beginning to have little control over how I look or dress. With love, slow. Dia. Dia. So, if you really loved your mother, you would grow out your hair probably. <laughs> I have only seen your amma cry twice. The first was when Tata died. The second was last summer. I asked her where you were, and she said your hair looked horrible and began to cry like anything. <laughs> oh, last summer. Last summer. I told my amma that I was in love with the woman she met when she visited. No, 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 no. It's not true. You're just friends. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to marry, to marry her. I decided that this wasn't the best time to break down to my amma how I still didn't want to do this marriage thing gay or straight, I thought one of the blessings of being a dyke was that I would never have to get married. <laughs> but it doesn't make my love any less real. I slowed my breath. I was prepared for this. This is what she had to say, needed to say, needed to at least try and change me, hurt me, scare me into changing. She wouldn't be a good mother if she didn't try. It's not natural. Woman belongs with marriage. This is against oh, against our ancestors. Dada, Dada is looking down from heaven and he is sad. He is sad. And, and angry. And he will and he flies out and just kills him. Do you understand? You are crucifying us. She 
she witnessed riots, held mother tongue and heart. She cries for crumbling dreams, chopped limbs in jungles. My mama, she still cries for our people. Heart of a day, mother, you need something.
we think of creating as a delicious thing. Like a flutter before breath turns to song, or the quickening beats of a heart slowly falling in love. Fear would be skin prickling at the sound of truth confessed. Thunder so enormous it cracks in your chest. Perhaps if every flash in the night were a firefly, fear would simply be the feeling that sits next to the divine.